Disputes and discord at DeSoto ISD this week. The district struggling to get past some money troubles. Yeah, this is an issue that consumer reporter Alana Otler has covered for months, and Alana, this dates back years for DeSoto. That's right, Russ. Last year we uncovered questionable spending by the former administration. Now the board is going to pay $127,000 for an accounting firm to investigate. The firm will focus on excessive spending, any fraud involving construction or bond projects. And possible misuse of federal grants. An accountant says the final report could lead to civil or even criminal action. Trustees admit this is a lot of money, but several officials say it's needed to move the district forward. The real debate, though, is over the CFO transition. Superintendent DeAndre Weaver is asking to spend $48,000 to pay the interim CFO for six months while she brings the new CFO up to speed. Weaver says. This is common practice among districts, but trustees were not on board. Once again, we're being railroaded into a conversation to have to make a choice, and now it's in public display, so I have no problem with speaking publicly about this because we were very adamant about her transitioning out. I hope we reach a day that we don't have to have all these outside experts uh, to come in and save us from ourselves. Trustees rejected the recommendation, saying it was too much money. In other consumer news, Delta Airlines is the number one major U.S. airline for 2019. That's according to new rankings from the Wall Street Journal, which places Alaska and Southwest in a tie for second. It may have helped that Delta involuntarily bumped just nine passengers last year. American Airlines, which is at the bottom of the list, bumped more than 15,000 flyers. And clearly, the issue of inconvenience <laughs> is something that they're looking at very deeply for this list. So you can imagine that one is going to be over the other based on the passenger yeah, bumps. That's a huge difference, yeah, though, 9 and 15,000. Yeah. I really wonder what goes into yeah. that disparity. Like it seems they're really trying to do a little bit better with that. And, yes. and clearly it's making a difference for Delta. And it's so. better for everybody. Hopefully that yeah. everybody can work on this yeah. issue. All right, Alana, thank you so much.